IGCSE Biology, Syllabus Statement 3.2. Here we're looking at fertilization that leads to the production of a zygote and in turn how this develops into an embryo. The process begins with the adult male and the adult female. And the cells which make up an adult, whether it's male or female, we can describe, let's draw one of those cells. This would be a cell in the testy. This would be a cell in the ovary. And these cells have a complete set of chromosomes. This is called being diploid. Usually the symbol 2N is applied and that's a complete set of chromosomes which for humans is 46. So 2N in humans is 46. The normal number of chromosomes in an adult cell. Now these cells divide in the testes to produce a half set. These are the gametes. In the male, this is the sperm cell. This type of cell division is called meiosis. And the important thing here is to know that this will half the chromosome number. So we go from a diploid number to a haploid number, which is N. And this is a half set. S uh, similarly, in the female, this cell here by meiosis is reduced by half so that we now have a nucleus that contains a haploid set N, a half set of chromosomes. So in human beings, this would be 23. There are 23 chromosomes in the sperm cell and 23 chromosomes in the egg cell. In sexual reproduction these two cells are brought together and they are joined or fused together so that this cell will join with this cell so that it forms just one cell. This process is known as fertilization and it involves the combining of a half set of chromosomes with a half set of chromosomes to make a full set of chromosomes. That is a haploid plus a haploid to give a diploid. In human terms, this is 23 chromosomes from the sperm cell, 23 chromosomes from the egg cell to give us 46 chromosomes in this new cell here, which is known as a zygote. With this part of the process complete, fertilization, we have a new cell, which is a combination of the male and female chromosomes, but has the same number of chromosomes as any other of the adult. This then goes through a process of cell division called mitosis, in which the cells will divide one cell would divide to give two cells. The interesting thing is that they will both contain 46 chromosomes. In the case of humans, that is 2n and 2n. In turn, each of these will divide. The cell would have 46 chromosomes, as would this one. So all cells contain the 2n diploid number of chromosomes and when we have sufficient cells 
the structure would be called an embryo. These principles hold true for all sexually reproducing organisms. The numbers quoted here are for humans only.